basic user interface. I mean, so uh, so it can be easily um, used in terrain with your fingers. So the buttons are large. Uh, it demonstrates uh, online routing on OpenStreetMap um, tiles. You can. You know, there is now also support for address to address routing. Uh, the current uh, routing implementation uses uh, Google services, but uh, I plan to add support for Monet. You, you can have heard about Monet in a, some of the previous talks uh, yesterday. And uh, the application is written in Python using Cairo HTK and is uh, targeted on uh, mobile use devices like the Nokia M900 or the Neo Freehunter or Open Smartphone. Uh, it's already released for MIMO, it's in repositories and can be easily installed. Uh, and uh, if you are interested, I can show you uh, on my device how the application functions and how um, you can try it yourself, how it, how it works in practice. Um, this value is quite old. Uh, Modrana, which is the name of the application, can currently also um, do turn by turn navigation from from one turn to the, to, uh, to another with uh, voice to directions. This uh, text to speech uh, program, so it sounds like Stephen Hawking, but it's understandable. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how, how many it is. <laughs> <laughs> is. Oh. Oh. I can show it there. But there are also some other features. You can block tracks. Uh, it logs directly to GPS uh, format. I tried mm, once to upload it to OpenStreetMap, and the tracks the track uploaded without problems. So you can use it for getting the GPX tracks. It can also uh, show load GPX tracks and show uh, elevation profile. Uh, I heard about people using this uh, when biking because we are quite interested in the elevation of the track before. Riding it to the back. Uh, yeah, can you, for example, it can uh, ro uh, the routing, uh, and it the routing does also car routing or uh, food directions. So um, that's different, of course, because when you went on food, you can go both direction, a one-way street, and such things. <coughs> but, yeah, the last, perhaps interesting feature is uh, searching for points of interest. You can search a point of interest in the area you are in or uh, some area somewhere for custom queries or for some presets and you can save points of interest from the map or from other sources so I think that's it and I don't know what sometimes <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much